for compassion, they will be no honest. You know? So the compassion and honest is very close. You know? So I'm just trying to be honest to all of you. Because I don't like to use my religion, the Buddha's teaching, as a business for politics or controlling other people or abusing other people. You know? Uh, you know, I, I don't want to do that, and that is the word which I will keep in my heart even I live a thousand years. You know? So, you know, the being as a Buddhist is to be a good person. Very simple. <laughs> Very simple. Be a good person. And naturally, once you are being a good person, honest and compassionate person, and naturally, the environment can be protected. When the environment is protected, the spiritual path and the spiritual path of practice and the place to practice, the quiet moment you will have and the great teaching you will find, the more healthy you will live, the more uh, great connection you will have. So I think it's really important to protect the environment. Our mother nature is really important to all of us. You know, we always say, oh, emptiness, emptiness, emptiness. You know, everything is not emptiness. Okay? Everything is not emptiness. Everything itself is emptiness. You know, we say, emptiness, emptiness, I understand the emptiness, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the meaning of emptiness is everything itself. Everything is not emptiness. Everything itself is emptiness. Every Dharma practice has to go step by step. It's really important to all of you. Really. You know, if you try to rush, if you push too hard, you're never going to make it in the top of the tower. You know? So then you, if you want to see the beautiful view, it's really important to go step by step. Step by step. Watch where you're going. Be careful. And then you, at the end you will see the beautiful view. So to go step by step is really important. And the uh, Buddhism, they always talk about karma, right? Bad karma, good karma, good karma connection, bad karma connection, and uh, whatever. And all these things. Mm, what I will say is, uh, uh, you know, I mean, like, I just want to share with you, okay? Uh, you know, I'm not very, some of you are very attached to the, the tradition of those, so some of you are not. And if you think that I'm right, and uh, thank you very much. <laughs> and if you think I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so we don't need to argue, you know? You don't need to prove yourself right to me, and I don't have to prove myself that I'm right, you know? I always say that one point, you know? The right itself can be wrong, the wrong itself can be right. You know, so the being as a Buddhist practitioner will make you slow down and go, and make you going beyond the result. <coughs> we always believe in result, right and wrong. But you know, going beyond the result is really important to all of us. So to be careful is really important. As the idea of the karma is to be responsible, you know, and taking the responsibility is the meaning of karma. Many people think, oh, my past life can be like this, can be like this, cannot be like that. I will suggest to you, try not to repeat your past life. <laughs> <laughs> try not to repeat that. Because it's much more worse than you can't, you know, uh, there's, there's many things that you can't, you don't want to imagine. You know, we already been through hard time in this life. Yeah? We already been through that family tough time, financial tough time, and the family and friends and uh, all this tough time. We already been through. And there's uh, lots of moments that you don't want to remember. Already. <laughs> Why do you want to make it more messy? You know, we don't have to uh, think about, ah, my past life. When you want to remember your past life, it doesn't bring only the good things. It also brings you the bad things. You know what you've been through. If you want to read the, your past life, so it's not really necessary. You know, from my point of view, and being respecting karma is really important. Okay, what is the karma? 